With episode 15 for the emotion scorer taking a bit longer to produce than I like, and not to mention wanting to increase video output on the Melting Party channel, this might be wondering what to do about keeping the viewers' interests. I mean, a video can take weeks, sometimes months to put together, not to mention making sure that everything looks ready for publishing. Of course, chances are that by the time the video is up, we'll be last in the bandwagon and everybody else will have moved on to the next big thing. And so this is where our latest review series comes into have dubbed, Chocolate Takes. You know, because these types of videos are short, sweet, and to the point, and not to mention that they can be put together with as little fuss as possible, being written for breakfast, recorded and edited for lunch, and published for dinner. Okay, maybe not that fast, but the point still stands. We'll try to be as fair as possible when it comes to critiquing, and for this series, there are going to be a bunch of unpopular, if not controversial, opinions abound, and chances are that we're going to get lynched no matter what we say, especially if there's no easy solution to the conflict at hand. There are going to range from opinions that most wouldn't really think about that much, to those that will stir up the hornet's nest, and to somewhere between the two extremes. That being said, in no way are we trying to attack anybody who disagrees, but believe me when I say that there are a lot of things I just have have to get off my chest, but I'm still happy to agree to disagree. So, with that being said, we're starting this off with a doozy, so... here goes! The idea that the model seasons and the CGI seasons of Thomas and Friends are two separate canons is complete bullshit. I've seen this being thrown around from a lot of people online, but I don't understand why people would think such a thing. If it was the Railway series and are all engines go being regarded as separate canons of the 1984 show, I understand because the rules across all three incarnations of Thomas don't mesh very well. The Railway series has a more grounded, mostly realistic approach, while all engines go is more cartoonish and over the top, while the original Thomas and Friends is somewhere in between, albeit it was closer to the former in the first four seasons before gradually moving away from that as it progressed, but never completely abandoned its roots. And before anyone comments, oh, but The Adventure Begins did things differently from Series 1, it's a retelling, not a replacement. Yes, some things were told differently from the books and the model episodes, but it's not as if the special was outright replacing what came before. You can like both adaptations of the first two books and there's nothing wrong with that. Not only that, but if the CJ era is a separate canon to the model era, then explain why the former made references to the latter in episodes like Terrence Breaks the Ice, Letters to Santa, and Unscheduled Stops, as well as specials like King of the the Railway and Journey Beyond Sodor. Hell, Blue Mountain Mystery made direct references to the model era, and Thomas and the Royal Engine even made a reference to Gordon Goes Foreign. If the models in the CGI seasons were really separate canons, then no references to the former would have been made to begin with. I just don't get this logic whatsoever. And no, I'm not going to bring up the fact that there are differences in the recreations. Also, a bit of a branch is not the main point I'm addressing, but can we please stop with comparing the Brennan era to the classic seasons of Thomas? Seriously, the last episode of the classic era premiered almost 20 years ago. Series 17 to 21 should never be compared to live up to the standards of 1 through 4 to begin with, because you could only get the first four seasons of Thomas once, and that's it. I'm perfectly okay with 17 to 21 being their own thing, and frankly, I'll take almost anything that period of the show gave out over the likes of Toby and the Flood that gets lost and rusty in the boulder any day. Have I mentioned that I find the fifth series to be vastly overrated? If there's anything that the Brennan era proved, it's that CGI Thomas can be good. Oh, but I grew up with the models. Most of us born before 2005 did, and you don't see me bragging about that, do you? And let's not forget that one day, the Brennan era is going to be considered nostalgic to those who grew up watching it on television, either from cable or on DVD. The production era ended 10 years ago, and there's already some people out there who consider it nostalgic despite the crap writing, and I'm pretty sure that those watching All Engines Go will consider it nostalgic 10 to 20 years down down the road. It will happen, whether we like it or not, and no amount of bullying or harassment is going to make them like the product any less. Just don't stoop to that level, please. But overall, I feel like this is a topic that applies not just to Thomas, but other franchises like My Little Pony, Star Wars, Powerpuff Girls, DC Comics, Disney, etc. If you don't like certain aspects of your favorite franchise, there's no point in whining to the point that you wish they were non-canon altogether. Seriously. Just accept that these exist at all and move on, goddammit. And again, no amount of harassment of creators on the internet is going to make any difference whatsoever. And if being online has taught anybody anything, or at least it should've, it's that having a Twitter account brings out the worst in so many people.